what can I say? Beautiful day in Daytona. I mean, it uh, gladly warmed up uh, quite a bit, so uh, I think that's good for our car as well. Uh, the boys did a lot of work on the muscle milk car preparing it. And now it's just uh, about staying out of trouble for 24 hours and keep on going. Keep it out of the pits and uh, hopefully we are in good spot in uh, a bit more than 24 hours. Well, that first 24-hour race is over here for the start of the year, and as you can imagine, it's more than 24 hours because we probably arrive at the garage about six or seven hours before we even start the race, and then yeah, 24 hours onto that, and now we've got another two or three hours backing up. So, so we're looking at about 36 hours straight. As you can probably tell by my voice, there's there's just a noisy situation for the whole 24 hours in the pits. A lot of cars, uh, a lot of noise and obviously a lot of yelling which makes you lose your voice a little bit but uh, all in all I think getting our Orca and doing the first race we ever done with it 24 hours and we managed to finish we had a couple of glitches near the end but it's still running at the end and we were only I think one or two laps down and finished in fifth and a lot of other cars didn't finish at all so I'm very proud of the team and the guys and, and, the, and the assistance we had from Orca it's just been fantastic to go out and finish 24 hours on our first event. Um, it's certainly a relief to get through 24 hours and, uh, and um, have completed the race and got good points and that sort of stuff. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot to be proud of there, you know, getting our, our brand new car through the race. Um, the flip side is then you start thinking about all the uh, the little things, uh, the you know, the missed opportunities, or the well, we could have done this better, or could have done that better, and and you start, you know, creating this uh, this laundry list of uh, of things that you need to go back and work on and improve and that sort of stuff. So, so certainly uh, mixed emotions. Um, proud of all the the work that all the guys have put into it. I mean, um, the guys have worked their tails off, um, and 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 uh, and I think it shows. I mean, that's you know that's why we finished. Uh, the drivers uh, worked their tail off in the race um, and that sort of stuff. So it was, a, it was a whole team effort. It was a lot of work, um, a whole lot of work. I think everybody's pretty, uh, pretty tired and ready to take a break. Um, unfortunately, uh, it, we, uh, we need to keep marching on. So Sebring will be here before we know it. We got some testing and uh, that sort of stuff to get done. I think uh, we could, uh, we can be satisfied with the result. We uh, we said in the beginning of the race the way everything's going and uh, the little testing we have and the balance of performance for this track and everything. We we uh, we can be happy with the top five and uh, we did that. So I think it's just all in all a good day for the Massimo Picket Racing Team. I'm quite pleased with the result. It's a rewarding uh, result for everybody, for Orica, for Nissan for the mechanics, build the car and, and, and run 24 hours uh, with uh, almost no trouble. That's, uh, you know, that's re really a, a, you know, a great job by everybody involved. And we, we do our homework now until Sebring. We go some testing as well and work hard at the shop and uh, we'll be strong uh, in a couple of weeks. First of all, I have to say I'm, I'm very proud of our guys. Uh, brand new package, brand new car. Uh, I think first 24 hour race for the team. And to finish it is, is a good thing. On the other hand, I think we still have a lot of work to do. Um, and also, you know, the, the way they balance out the DPs and, and uh, LMP2s here was just not correct. I mean, uh, if you are like 12 miles an hour slower than, than the others, you cannot really fight. I hope they're going to change that uh, because otherwise <laughs> we are lost. But we, you cannot see it all negative. We have to see a little bit the bright side. The car run mostly trouble free and we finished. We were only a lap down to the leaders. 
after 24 hours. That's uh, impressive. Even uh, for Massimo Cricket Racing was the first real 24-hour race with this crew. So thanks to the boys for the preparation of the car. And uh, yeah, let's keep pushing and uh, Sebring, here we come.